Welcome back into Wave Listens Live. I'm Michael Vanover filling in for John Ramsey this week, and I'm joined now by somebody that is on this program a lot, and it's good to have you back, Marcus Warren. Marcus, welcome yeah. back. Yeah, thank you. Thanks good for having me. Man. Warren Wealth Management and Tax Planning. Marcus is joining us as he has many times before. Okay, Marcus, so, so the timing of your interviews, I feel like lately especially, have always been very good yes. because there's a lot going on. Let's talk a little bit about the market volatility and, and people's emotions tied to that. What is going on out there right now? Well, the reason we're seeing a, a lot of market volatility is for a number of different reasons. One is, you know, inflation is at a 40-year high. Um, interest rates are, are starting to, to creep up. Um, gas prices are, are, are high. Um, we still have supply chain issues. And then, of course, the war in Ukraine. So there's a lot of factors contributing to uh, the volatility or the downward moving market that has a, a lot of investors anxious, worried, and scared. Yeah, scared. one of the things you've told me before and I've heard you talk about is the word fear. Um, yeah. which is a lot of times what happens when people, you know, they, they look at it every day, or some people do, I should mm -hmm. say. How, how, what would you tell those people that are watching right now that, that maybe are scared of what's going on? What, what's the best course of action? Well, generally, when, when, when we experience uh, market volatility, and, and that's the one thing that, uh, as, a, as a planner, as an advisor, that I always can guarantee investors, is that the market is going to do what the market does. And the market goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Right now, we're in this period of a downward moving market. And so, uh, and really, when, when, when you think about it, um, since 2009, so we're uh, about, about 12 years, we've had this market that has generally moved upwards. And generally, uh, these what are called bear markets, when the, when, when the market pulls back, these bear markets, they generally occur uh, every four or five years or so. But we've uh, been in this, uh, in this euphoric stage for the last 12 years, run, which yes, is insane. and people haven't experienced yeah. it. And so now that we're experiencing it, uh, a lot of people are, are, are fearful, and they're uh, doing the wrong thing at the wrong times. And unfortunately, they do it all the time. You know, buying low, selling high, that's like the, the, the magic combo, mm -hmm. right? I think it's important, and touch on this a little bit, some people maybe they get into that scared stage and they don't want to keep pumping money in when it's lower. I'm probably one of them. I, I get nervous. But the key is buying now, right? Or, or at least even if it's a monthly or weekly, or right. kind of walk through, I guess, dollar cost averaging, if you will. Yeah, so, um, you know, so, so the general rule of thumb is you're supposed to buy low and you're supposed to sell high. However, when these emotions kick in, and there's two emotions that drive the market, that's fear and then that's greed, right? Right now, uh, people are fearful because the market's going down. And unfortunately, like I said earlier, people tend to do the wrong thing at the wrong time. And so here we are, uh, this, this uh, cycle like of market this here, emojis, yeah. uh -huh. right? <laughs> and as the market's moving down, there's fear and then there's that panic. And what do people do uh, when there's fear and, and then there's panic? They tend to buy, or they tend to sell out of the market. And then they want to sell out of the market, and then they wait, and then they wait until the market starts to go back up, and then that's when they want to jump back in. And so although you're supposed to buy low and sell high, because of these emotions that you're looking at here, people tend to do the opposite. They tend to buy high. And then they and then they sell low. Now, if you are and and, and, and you had just mentioned dollar cost averaging. Yes. So what dollar cost averaging is, and most people do it. Um, subconsciously because they have a 401k, a company retirement plan, and hopefully right. they're always contributing money each and every pay period. And in a downward moving market, that's actually good because it does allow you during these down periods to buy in and buy more shares when things are low. If you continue to invest, which if is, you if you said, the 401k right. is an example, you're right. You know, every right. month I have one that goes in. Exactly. It's these other markets, it's, it's these other you know, accounts that you may have, brokerage accounts, whatever, where people are trying to outsmart the market, where sometimes you can really hinder your returns. Is that right? Yeah, so, so, so there's a couple of things that, uh, that people do. One is, you're absolutely right. Hopefully they still continue uh, dollar cost averaging or contributing to their company retirement plans because that's generally automatic and you have to think long term. Um, the one thing that you don't want to do is what you've accumulated in a regular brokerage account, an IRA, a 401k, what you don't want to do during this time is sell out. 
And unfortunately, that's what the average individual investor does. They tend to sell out at the wrong time, and then they miss uh, the gains when the market goes back up because they just don't know when to get in, and they're always trying to time the market. Yeah, it's just crazy how uh, there's just so much to think about, but really, it's about riding the roller coaster and staying in on the roller coaster, right? Because if you try to, there's no timing the market is basically. It, <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, very hard to do. You're right. It, it, it really, it, it all starts with with a plan. Sure. You have to have a plan, and most people don't have a plan pre-retirement or even going into retirement. So you have to make sure that you have a plan. And so, say you're a, a retiree mm -hmm. and you're in that distribution phase where you're taking money out. Uh, one thing that can be scary if you don't have a plan is when you're pulling money out in a downward moving market because you're actually, you know, the market's going down and you're pulling money out. So it can accelerate that depletion of your nest egg. But if you have a plan and you've timed things correctly, and I'm not talking about timing sure. the market, but you just time those withdrawals correctly, you should be taking your withdrawals from an account that's not tied to the stock market. That's more cash based, more fixed income based, so you don't have to worry about times like now where you know people are a little nervous a little anxious because they are pulling money out because they have to because uh, they have to live on it uh, during a downward moving market now you talk about a plan and having a plan how important it is at Warren wealth management and tax planning that's what you guys do can you right. talk a little bit about exactly the y your philosophy if you will and maybe what makes you different from some other people so um, we we are a fiduciary advisor and it's interesting because you know, the, the S&P and the Dow Jones, the market, is down almost 20% so far this year. But we haven't received a lot of calls with people panicking that we have to talk off the ledge or anything yeah. because we like to set the expectation uh, from the beginning. So, um, yes, we do manage investments in retirement, but that is not what we hang our hat on because we can't control what the market does. Like I said, it's going to go up, it's going to go down, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. That's the one thing you can guarantee, right? So we focus on what we can control, right. which is uh, income, income planning, uh, Social Security maximization, Medicare planning. Um, more importantly, taxes. So, you know, we want to make sure that our clients have those those things in place, the things that they can control. So when something like this happens, they have that peace of mind, knowing that they're going to be okay in retirement. No doubt. So people are watching right now, and, and they're hearing what they're saying, and they're liking what they're hearing. How do they know if, if they might qualify to be a customer or, or a client of yours? If you, will? you know, so um, you know, we uh, uh, for the benefit of our current clients, we only take in a certain number of clients throughout the year, and so we want to maximize everyone's time. So uh, we have a, a talk to Marcus uh, a site that you can go to, get on my calendar, and we can have a quick 15 minute phone call where we can find out where you are, where you want to be, and see if we're a good fit and we can develop a plan to get you where you need to be. And it's more important now than ever to sit down with someone, uh, at least take, at least uh, make that 15 minute phone call mm -hmm. to find out if you're in a good position. Because uh, if the stock market conti continues to go down, which we, you know, we don't have a crystal ball, no, but right. we do believe that we are in this recessionary period that people need to make sure that they have a plan. That's right. TalkToMarkets.com is the website and again I, I like the fact that these pe people have nothing to lose right they can just call and they can hear you out and hear, talk about a potential plan right I mean they they need to find some answers for right now as you're saying absolutely you know of course we, we don't work with everyone sure, but sure. Uh, that 15 minute phone call like I said it's efficient we can figure out if we're a good fit, fit or not and just right. go from there that's right all right talk to Marcus.com Warren wealth dot net 502-339-8255 is the phone number Marcus it's good to see you man welcome back appreciate it all thank right, you. Buddy. I appreciate right. it when we come back, we've got more to get to on Wave Listens Live talking about hearing.